It doesn't matter what generation you belong to or what era you went to high school in, the bona fide cool guy truck was always the Toyota Tacoma. And after several years on the market, there's finally a new one for 2024. It's got a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four and an eight speed automatic transmission on most trims. But if you're lucky and very, very cool, you can also get a do it yourself six speed manual on the TRD Sport and TRD Offroad. I'm behind the wheel of a Sport right now. Let's take it for a spin. In contrast to the previous generation Tacoma, which was pretty much just a very, very heavy facelift of the truck that debuted in 2005, this new Tacoma is a clean sheet redesign. It shares its modular Toyota platform with everything from the recently revealed Lexus GX SUV to the Toyota Tundra full-size truck. And luckily, the parts that it borrows from those vehicles are what make it such an excellent truck to drive around town. The structure is stiff and rigid, and it feels like it can handle a rough road with a lot more composure than the old truck, and the ride is reasonably smooth as well. What's more, it's a lot quieter and more composed than the previous generation Tacoma, in spite of the fact that the new one gets a turbocharged four-cylinder engine under the hood instead of the old model's 3.5 liter V6. Turbo fours aren't really known for their smoothness or impressive acoustic control, and yet the new Tacoma feels very nice. In fact, the only noise that you really get when you're driving down the road is just a little whisper of whistle coming from the turbocharger that reminds me a little bit of a diesel. Score one for Toyota. In spite of the refined new platform, the new Tacoma is still a body on frame midsize truck, so it's not really fair to expect crossover levels of comfort and smoothness. But if you're a fan of Toyota's small pickup truck, then you probably appreciate that there's still just a little bit of that edge to make it fun to drive and charming. Adding to that fun is this six speed manual transmission. Now the shift throws are pretty long and it feels a little bit rubbery, so it's probably not gonna win any big awards from the motorsport press, but the six speed is still so fun to drive, especially in combination with this TRD Sport trim that's not particularly stripped down. The rest of the powertrain works great. The 2.4 liter turbo engine makes 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque, numbers that aren't class leading but are still perfectly in the hunt for mid-sized trucks. And even when you're driving around in hill country pushing fifth gear like I am right now, there's enough torque in reserve to get you up the hill without needing to downshift. If you do need to make a really quick pass, get it up into third gear, and you've got plenty of power to get you up the hill at uh, what are currently extra legal speeds. The cabin of the Tacoma seems like it's pretty well done, although there is a caveat. This is a pre-production truck, so I can't speak to some of these plastics that are glossy and shiny. They will get grained and they will get textured before they arrive at dealers later this year, but I can't speak to exactly how they're going to feel. By and large though, the design is very nice. It kind of looks like a shrunken down Tundra, which is great news if you like that truck's gigantic touchscreen and chunky rotary dials. The four wheel drive button is really easy to use. There's a little knob within a knob right here that you can just switch over to get into four wheel high, switch back into two wheel drive. And then there's also a crawl control drive mode and IMT button right here. If you wanna learn more about the Tacoma, you can check out our first look video and find out more about all those nitty gritty details. The biggest problem I have with the Tacoma's cabin is the size of the rear seat. Now this is nothing new for mid-sized trucks. They are not built to be huge family haulers in the same way that full-size crew cab pickup trucks are. But the Tacoma still is a bit of a bummer in the fact that it doesn't have a ton of legroom for rear seat passengers, especially if there's someone tall sitting in front. To its credit, the cushion is very well shaped and you have plenty of thigh support and you have tons of headroom as you do in the front row as well. But there's just not enough knee or toe room to make this a true four seater, especially when you're going down the road on long trips. Now I'm not gonna lie to you and say that this is a super thrilling, super fast compact pickup truck, but it's still a great way to get around town. It's a fantastic little commuter and it preserves that Toyota charm that its customers come back for generation after generation. And that's just getting around town on road. If you go off-road like I'm about to, the Tacoma offers an entirely different level of driving fun. Behind the wheel of the Tacoma TRD off-road now is in the TRD Sport before, now we're in the TRD off-road. A lot of the same interior equipment, but of course the difference is this one is designed to be fun to drive when the going gets rough. And in order to do that, Toyota gave the thing unique remote reservoir dampers, as well as some frame adjustments to make it stiffer and more robust when you're kind of getting this thing crossed up like we're about to do right now. Roll back just a bit and keep on going. 
Now the great thing about the Tacoma, especially when you get the manual transmission, is you can pretty much just lift your foot off the clutch because there's so much more torque in this engine compared to last year's. My buddy Scott here from Drive Revolution is coaching us through this course and I should have believed him. He said just lift your foot off the clutch, let four low and first gear do its thing and it absolutely did. It just crawled right over that little rock field just fine. Now the one downside, if you do get the manual transmission, you miss out on crawl control and downhill assist, but in first gear and low range, you just really don't need that much in the way of extra assistance. The truck will kind of just do it for you, controlling your speed on descents and helping you get your way over rocks on ascent. It's really kind of, kind of incredible. <laughs> And here we are gonna crawl over a little obstacle with the uh, sway bar disconnect that comes standard on the TRD off-road engaged. And it really does just keep everything perfectly even keeled. A lot of articulation for sure. Also 10.5 inches of ground clearance from the factory. So this is no slouch in the ground clearance department. And yeah, that was, that was easy as pie. That was, that was a cinch. Honestly, the TRD off-road was just kind of a drama-free affair on this trail. It wasn't a hugely difficult trail. It's not something you'd find on like, you know, Slick Rock in Moab or anything like that, but it still was probably more aggressive than a lot of people are gonna do on their usual trips to the mountain biking trails or what have you. Um, I just also really appreciate that Toyota gave the TRD off-road some unique features in and of itself. In the past, the off-road's maybe gotten some different shocks, but it's been mostly carryover from the standard Tacoma. But in this case, those frame reinforcements, the unique rolling stock, the remote reservoir shocks, a lot of different things have given this truck some genuine capability. So if you don't have the budget or the desire to step up to the TRD Pro, you can still get tons of off-road capability in this TRD off-road Tacoma as well. And again, I just can't say enough nice things about this engine and transmission combo. The low end torque from the turbocharged engine is so much better than the old 3.5 V6. The six speed manual transmission has a really low first gear so that when you are in four low, you do not miss crawl control or hill descent assist. I'm completely, completely feet off the pedals right now, going six or seven miles an hour down probably a 30 degree embankment. So just did not need to, need to deal with downhill assist at all. I just got full manual control right here. And that is really, really impressive. I really appreciate that about this truck. The new Tacoma doesn't advance the pickup formula that far. Instead, this just kind of takes everything that people like about the existing vehicle and gets rid of the stuff that they don't. For example, the interior is much more usable and comfortable. The platform is stiff and sturdy, and the engine is a godsend compared to the Wheezy 3.5 in the old Tacoma. I also have to give Toyota so much credit for still offering a dedicated, honest to goodness manual transmission in a mid-sized truck. And I appreciate that they're still trying to keep involved with enthusiasts. The new Tacoma goes on sale later this year with a starting price of around $30,000. This car that I'm sitting in right now has a starting price of $41,800 without options, which is right about what this example would cost since it doesn't have the optional camera system and it comes with the standard manual transmission. 42 grand in a fun to drive mid-size pickup truck is actually a pretty decent deal and it would absolutely be my pick. Thanks for watching.